I make a motion we table this so we can look at our bid packet, the grant requirements, and each of the bids that have come in closer. Yes. To make sure it all. Well second, definitely. All in favor? Those opposed? Okay. Would you like to stay tonight and go through the specs and go through everything? No. Okay. We're going to table it. Might as well do it. Yeah. You got to get more information. Make sure we get yes. the grant okay. requirements. Oh, you got to contact us. Okay. Okay. Would we like to make a date of when we're going to come back to look at the specs and mm -hmm. the ones that are before it? Okay. okay. Which would be? Well, of course. <laughs> Seven. That would be oh, no. uh, 24th, which is a budget meeting anyway. And uh, that should be a very short budget meeting, so we could do it that night. Okay. Okay. The budget meeting starts at 5.30. You're going to be here for that meeting, right? Okay. So shall we do it at 4? Everybody available at 4 on the 24th? 24th of this month? Yes. Possibly. At 4 o'clock? Yes. <laughs> so 4 o'clock, 24th, Wednesday. He's right there. He's yeah, yeah, it's all there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's only a little bit more than what the combination we'll of the two about that Yeah, that's right. Well, that's we're right. talking about it right now, aren't we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, moving along. I don't know what your thoughts were. Oh, I don't forget. I'm not that yet. John, thank you. Good night. Thank you, John. Thank you. Welcome aboard, man. Okay, next item. Um, at previous Simon's meeting, the Board of Selectmen signed a letter that was turned over to uh, Representative David Burns and Catherine Cassidy uh, yeah. displaying the opposition to changing the uh, Cobb Creek Bay property management. Mm. Uh, we received word uh, that the Marine Resource Committee of the Maine Legislature today voted unanimously not to repeal the Cupcook Bay Rockwood Management Area Law passed in 2009 and review and comment on any future statewide rockweed management plan. Save Our Seaweed and the Rockwood Coalition thank everyone, including the Town of Lebec, who wrote letters, sent emails, or signed a petition of support. The petition will continue. This is just the first vote for rockweed while the statewide plan is written. So this is a notice there that they, they got our letter and uh, uh, they, they did agree uh, not to repeal the law. So that's actually good news that's yes, because, that's a good thing. because my summation of the change would have, it would have been less enforced. Mm -hmm. But that brings us back to enforcement. So the DMR, in order to control the harvest, has to have more of a presence, presence, presence in the areas where they're doing the harvesting while they're doing the harvesting. Right. To make this the existing law uh, protect what it was supposed to protect all along, it's a matter of enforcement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, I think that's pretty standard. Right. Most state departments are pretty thin right now, including the between, uh, between Russell uh, and the all fishing, and then with the basketball, I think he said that he had around seven to eight hours of sleep in a few weeks. 
poor guy. Okay. Uh, Sarah updates the board on the International Marathon. Oh. Okay. We went on our bus tour on Sunday. So we got to see, I've seen all of the course. Uh -huh. But I've never looked at that part of road in that way before. Sure. <laughs> so I got to see where all of the water stations would be, all of the high traffic, high hazard areas. Um, That's puzzles. They're going to be something people need to run around or <laughs> run over. So some of the road gets a little dicey. Yeah. Especially on Campo Bello. Ooh. Um, How about here? But I, I can't say enough about the dedicated committee who really has looked at so many different aspects of different scenarios mm -hmm. and making sure everything's in line. Um, as of yesterday afternoon, we were at 381 for the marathon, 132 for the 10K. So we're going to probably be at targets of around 600 runners and over a thousand people coming out of town that weekend, which is the weekend of June 23rd, race on the 23rd. Um, today, John, not our John, oh. huh, from the Marathon Committee met with the commissioners. Um, he's been meeting with emergency management, um, county sheriff, RCMP, Border Patrol, um, they'll be continuing meetings with everyone. Um, the letter did go out for those in Lubeck and Campobello who are on the race course, and it might have been beyond those locations. For those that may have missed it, it is now on our town website, a copy of the letter, um, and a link to the marathon website. There will be a community meeting on Thursday, April 18th from 6 to 8, or however long it needs to be, here at the town office with um, members of the Marathon Committee to answer any questions, concerns, anything. We're here to make sure people um, know what's going on and have any questions answered. Um, so again, that's April 18th at 6 p.m. Um, we're still looking for volunteers. We're going to be going day and night, probably Thursday on, but Saturday and Sunday will be the days that we really need um, volunteers to do a number of different things. Um, we're also looking for six-foot tables, for short tables for all of the water stations. So if anybody would let us borrow some tables um, that could be used that would be great. I might be able to have a solution for that. Okay. How many do you need? I'm unsure. Is it okay if they're eight foot tables? I could ask. I don't know. I, mean, I know. I mean, this is an international marathon. They I might just know. run right by an eight footer. <laughs> oh, like triple the hinder. I will check. Take water from the anyone, um, <laughs> Tell them it's metric. <laughs> anyone that wants to volunteer or that can um, let us use tables, they can call Rachel. Ruby are at 733-8949, or they can get a hold of me and I can find the answer. Um, 263-5430. Um,